to your FX. Coming at you, 28J, a little bit of risk on overnight. S&P's up 20 handles up here, 58. In the middle of nowhere. Um, the range now is 3295, 3300 is going to mark the top, and 3180. This down here, or between 3160 and 3180, is going to mark the bottom. So we're really dead center here. Sideways action. You want to try and sell towards 95 uh, for the eventual move down to 3180. Nothing really to do at the moment. No data this morning. We do have um, Swiss trade, um, which I would say is not very interesting. But Euro Swiss, look at that. This is going to turn eventually. You don't, you wouldn't expect trade to turn this number. Obviously, Swiss trade numbers are usually very, very good. Everyone in the world likes to buy our stuff, uh, and we're so snobby here that we don't like to buy anyone else's stuff. We prefer to buy our own stuff here. So our trade numbers are usually very positive. But I just want to point this out. This has to turn eventually. Um, we filled that gap, that two-year gap that we talked about. This is the gap from here, um, April 2017. It's now almost April 2020. But that was the gap fill yesterday. Uh, we're bouncing here. If there's any place this is going to turn, I would argue this is this is the place. Not getting my hopes up because we're risk off elsewhere in the world, but that's zero Swiss. Euro yen. I printed that 90 low yesterday. Now we have a triple bottom down there. Uh, 91 again last night. Risk on has dragged this thing up. Certainly we should probably test this 40 area. Consolidation. It's very much the same as the S&P chart. Uh, not much to say there. Dollars R went through that 200 day up at 1460 yesterday. Should be support uh, 1450 today. We like to be short czar in this current current atmosphere. Gold not doing too much. Kind of the high end of the range. Looks like kind of a turn bar yesterday, but not really much to do with gold. Uh, buying low ones is probably your best bet, but we're not too uh, too involved in the gold market, so not much to say there. Dollar yen, it's all the same charts, right? Doji yesterday. Uh, will we make a high through 13 today? Surely we will. Um, this is a sell between 40 and 50 on the 109 handle. Uh, again, nothing to do here at 109.04. You should probably have trimmed your shorts and try and reload for resell uh, in dollar yen. Dollar CAD, again, not too much going on. You can see the theme today. Uh, we're looking for a rangy morning. There's absolutely no data today. We do have UK CBI, retail CBI, which again, doesn't really, it's not really a market mover. Um, that's at 11 GMT, so that's 12 Swiss time. Uh, not really much going on. The day really gets going with durable goods in the U.S. today. So let's uh, just prepare ourselves for a quiet European morning. No need to blather on here. Uh, we're trading around the same themes. Uh, we're core short. Uh, all risk metrics. So you can pick your poison, right? You want to be short Aussie, short dollar yen, short euro yen, long dollar czar, long gold. Um, and the one outlier is euro Swiss. We're looking for euro Swiss to turn. Uh, will it turn? It's kind of a lottery ticket type of, uh, type of a maneuver here. But this is the one that doesn't fit with the rest. Long euro Swiss. Anyway, good luck there, people. Uh, again, not much to say this morning. I will catch you all tomorrow.